First of all you have to show all posts on admin side. Inside admin posts root, we have to run a query that will fetch all the posts from database. Paste this render function inside the query callback. Just checking if the data is received correctly. We will be displaying posts in table form. Create a table tag and give it a bootstrap class, table. First row will be heading. We will be displaying title, content, image, and action. Now run a loop on posts array and create a tr tag inside this loop. Title and content are displayed normally. We have to show the image variable inside image tag. Give it width so it can be adjusted inside page. In action, we have to create an anchor tag which will redirect to edit page. and we have to pass post ID as a parameter. Apply bootstrap classes to make it small. Now we have to create this root in server.js. Applying conditions so it should be accessible only by admin. But we are commenting this just for testing purpose. We have to get the single post record and render it on edit post page. Search by post ID. Send the post object in edit page. Now we have to create this edit post page. Create a new file inside views admin folder, edit post.ejs.
and include header and footer. Now the edit form will be almost similar to create post form. So we will just copy the create post form. And paste in edit post page. Remove the image upload button we will do it in next tutorial. Change button type to warning and set value to edit. You first have to show the old value in text fields. So we have to add a value attribute. And its value should be post title. And for text area we have to add this variable in between text area tags. Text area does not have value attribute. Now we have to create a function to update the post. Again it will be similar to create post. Just change the function name to do edit post. Copy the do post function from create post page. And paste in edit post page. Remove the image variable, we will do it later. and change the root to do edit post. Remove these lines, we will do them later too. First we need to check if we are receiving the correct data. To update the post we must need a unique post ID too. Create a JavaScript variable for post ID. Make sure it is in single quotation. and append it in form data. Now on server side run the update query. Search by ID and update the rest of the fields. Set operator is used to update the existing values. After the record has been updated we will send the response back. In next tutorial, we will do the image update feature. 